everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to upgrade or downgrade your Office 365 desktop application to a particular build or version without reinstallation. In some business, they have some kind of application or some line of business uh, application that are compatible with only certain build or version of a office application. So in that regard, they might need to always maintain that version of office app. Most admin would usually uninstall and reinstall back our office application using ODT. But in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to revert back to that version of Office without reinstalling. And we are going to use command prompt and a few lines of commandlet to achieve. In some cases, you might want to set the update channel for users on your tenant, which that would uh, determine how often updates are being pushed to our uh, Office 365 desktop uh, application for users in your own uh, organization. So to achieve that, let me show you how to do that on your admin portal. So here on my admin portal, so I will go to uh, admin. Then uh, from the admin, I would go to uh, settings and uh, org settings. Okay, so I'm from the org setting, uh, we we'll look for uh, office installation. Then under the office installation setting, you can see we have a current channel, which is as soon as it's ready, then one in a month, and then every six months. So you can actually uh, select what best suits your own organization based on how frequent you want to receive updates. And in some other occasion, you can uh, try to disable uh, Office 365 from updates. So I'm just going to show you also how to just disable Office updates in this tutorial uh, video as well. So let's check the version of uh, Office that was installed on my computer. Okay, so I just launched my Microsoft Word and I go to About. So as you can see, the build of Office installed on my computer right now is 14024.20246, right? So I'm going to change it to under build, okay? So let me quickly show you uh, where we can get this. Okay, so uh, here we have the list of all the uh, build of uh, version of office so you can see so from here we have a different version and a different build so i'm just going to pick one at a uh, random okay so uh, let's assume i want to uh, use this so let me just copy this so that i would uh, use it in my command let okay so uh, what we are going to do now uh, I'm going to update my uh, or downgrade my office build to uh, this version. So let's go straight to action. So I would launch my command prompt. Okay. So preferably launch it as uh, admin. Okay. So uh, here we are. So uh, you're going to change directory to the parts on your computer where you have the uh, executable file. I will change directory to that part and then I would also drop in the comment section so that you can see. Okay, so I'm changing to this part. Okay, so I hit enter. So I'm already in that part. Okay. So I'm going to paste in there the command let we are going to use and then the version that we are going to use. Okay. 
so uh, you can see so here is the executable file office click to our client.excel slash update user and you can see the version that I said I'm going to use so all I need to do now is to hit enter on my keyboard and uh, watch this started I, as you can see the update has started the update has started and this is going to take some couple of uh, minutes so I'm going to pause this video right now and I'm going to come and show you after the uh, update has been completed okay so I'm back the updates has been completed and as you can see the uh, screenshot okay so um, we are going to do and um, verify once again okay so this is my word application which was launched automatically after the installation okay so i'm going to about so as you can see it has been updated to the version that i actually specify in that command light okay so i also made mention that if you want to disable update such that it will not update again some other time although that is not advisable but if that should uh, be what you really want to ensure that you have smooth running of your line of business application then that might be what you really want to do so all you need to do is just to click this uh, drop down here and as you can see disable update so all you need to do is to click on disable update so any further updates would not get updated on this computer so that is where we are going to stop for today's lesson so if you find any value on this video please subscribe to our channel and then you can also like and share with your friends so if you want any other tutorial video that would like to see us discuss about you can drop your comment on the comment section and we are going to go through it and then share it with you have a good day. Bye-bye.